In terms of oxygen supplementation after the stabilization, in the premature babies who receive oxygen, the saturation target should be between 90 and 94 percent. This is the evidence based on the support and the boost two studies and it is well established now. The alarm limits, of course, you may decide individualize it on the baby, but the recommendation is 89 to 95 percent. Uh, this is always a debate as to what your uh, upper limit setting should be uh, to avoid over intervention and uh, obviously uh, the nursing time the effort is considered as well so you can go up to 96 or even 97 percent in the babies who are very sensitive to slight adjustments in FiO2 for example you have less than 25 percent oxygen and if you keep 24 percent the baby desaturates and if you keep 25 baby goes to 97 it's finely tuned so in these cases you can individualize and keep the setting about 96 to 97 percent as upper limit the same applies to the lower limit for a baby who is labile and keeps dropping you can consider 87 or 88 for a brief time so these are individualized decisions and you should document it in your plan and uh, if you educate your nursing team they themselves will become aware of what settings they need to do this but definitely increasing the FAO2 delivery will affect ROP risk and so we have to be very cautious especially in the extreme small babies who are at the highest risk of ROP and protocols for screening and treating premature babies for ROP should be in place as well so this is uh, very important and all of you may be familiar with the ROP guidelines in the developing countries having a little aggressive approach compared to the ROP guidelines in the developed world that is because of the aggressive posterior ROP development in some of these IUGR or nutritional deprived babies. Uh, again, it's very important to discuss the role of closed loop oxygen monitoring. Um, there are studies coming out that these are beneficial, but we need the exact ideal algorithm which avoids uh, the oxygen requirement going too high. And again, one of the disadvantages possibly is that you may delay picking up a baby who is deteriorating. Uh, because otherwise the nurses might have alerted the team earlier. So we have to see the range which is acceptable and the algorithms have to be fine-tuned to that.